What's up guys, it's Rob here. I've got some Team Fortress 2 gameplay for you today, playing as the spy on King of the Hill Iaduct. <coughs> I'm post comming this. Uh, I did originally live com it, but for some reason I messed up my key bindings. As you'll notice part way through I start bringing up my inventory for no reason. And I'm not entirely sure what's happened, but my key bindings had all changed. And it also ended up muting my microphone for, for, for my recording program so yeah it's all a bit confusing I'm not too sure what's happened but it has been sorted out now but why it was happening in the first place I don't know because I did some TF2 the other day and everything worked so I'm not sure what's happened there but no worries I can just post comment right as I said playing as a spy on Iaduct using the uh, Strange Knife Strange Ambassador and Strange Dead Ringer I've really gotten used to the dead ringer now when I first started using the dead ringer I could not use it f at all I could not work out how you were supposed to get behind the enemy just using disguises and getting killed by the pyro there who I didn't see yeah I could not work out how you were supposed to get behind the enemy just using the disguises because you always get spy checked by a pyro but now I know that you just pull out your dead ringer you'd be really obvious you let them shoot you you go invisible then you run behind them so now I can't use anything but the dead rigger. Coming out here, pick my disguise and head back out, try and get behind the enemy again. Watch this, they know that I'm a pyro and I'm a, a spy because I've just come out of their spawn, out of my spawn even. I've just run straight past the, straight past the point, ignored it completely. In fact I'm disguised as the guy on the point so surely they should know that I am a spy. As it turns out nobody bothers spy checking me so I just decide that I'm going to run down here. And this is a great place to go if you're a spy on Viaduct. Just quickly nip up here because there are always snipers up here. Look here. There he is. One. Two. Easy. Run back down onto the point. Go to get the demo man. He charges away and avoids my knife. So pull out my dead ringer just in case he chases after me kind of waiting for him here because I'm expecting he's just going to come and kill me but he doesn't he just stay, tries to stay on the point and try to capture it but he gets killed so disguise again coming back up here just waiting to see somebody can't see anybody so I'm going to go exactly the same place that I went last time there's a sniper up there so that's where I'm going unfortunately this sniper body checks me because he realises I'm going to stand in front of him here. I thought here that he would go back into scope and I'd miss him. Which kind of happened, but I didn't realise his mate was there looking right at me. So that was a bit of a fail. Come down here, heal myself up on the dispenser, which this engineer has kindly built. And then I'm going to go back up and do exactly the same thing. As, I'm, as I've said in one of my older spy videos, the key to playing spy is all repetition. Just go back, do exactly the same things, loop around in big circles. If you can do that as a spy, you'll be successful. Come up here, go for the backstab, miss it completely. This is not a particularly brilliant round from my point of view. However, the uh, second round really was that. That's where I found that my keys went out of whack for some reason. I don't know if it was my key bindings or perhaps my keyboard, because my keyboard is about five years old now, so maybe it's just that. But yeah, it turned. That's when my mic turned off. So not brilliant, but there you go. Now this round was a lot better. I have to cut the recording there for a second because I was just trying to work out what the hell was wrong with my key bindings. But coming back into it, I haven't missed anything. I was only gone for about ten seconds. So <coughs> coming up here, hiding around this corner because it's going to be really obvious if I'm coming from that side that I'm a spy so I'm just going to hide here, see, got my dead ringer out just in case anybody comes round I keep exp I'm expecting someone there but the engineer takes them out so now I'm going to run round dropping down here, now that sniper knows and I know he knows <coughs> so I'm going to get shot in the back in a second I think yep there it goes don't pull out my dead ringer straight away, let him get a few meaty shots in me then pull it out Decloak behind that sniper, which is risky because the dead ringer makes a lot of noise, but snipers don't tend to be paying attention to that sort of thing. Come down here, get the medic, get the demo man. Oh, 
loop myself all the way around, pick up the ammo, pick up the health. And back to what I was just doing. See the soldier going up there, go disguise here. Been seen by that demo man disguising unfortunately, so exactly the same thing that I did last time. Dead ringer out, get shot in the back a couple of times, wait here. Now it looks like I've just come out of that door because that's where I hid. Come up here, take out the sniper. Gonna hang around in here for a little bit and see if anybody comes out. Can't see anybody, get round here and everybody's already dead. Somebody's complaining about the amount of snipers on red. I must admit, I feel sympathy for him because I hate that. I really, really hate that. Whenever I'm playing on Team Fortress and you look at your team and there's like four snipers and you're losing and you just think, oh, why? Gonna loop round here, try and get that sniper that I see, but I see a scout taunting, so I'm gonna take him out. Gonna get shot in the back again. Again, I'll let a couple of shots go into me, then pull my dead ringer. Coming over here, take out the NG, take out the sniper, and then take out his dispenser as well. Just redisguising as the same scout again. I think this was a bit of a fail moment here because I... Oh no, it wasn't. It was a bit later on. There's at one point later on where even though I was pretty sure, pretty sure I was stood behind the sniper, I could not get the backstab animation to work. So in the end I just had to stab him in the face until he died. Probably should have pulled out my ambassador and not looked like such a penis, but there you go. You live and learn. So as you see, basically I've just spent my entire time just looping around doing exactly the same thing. Now, I This was a fail moment as well. I saw that that guy had taken a, a shot from a machina or a machina, whatever the hell it's called. I expected him to be on really low health and I would just have to run up and slash him once and he would die. But he didn't. There we are. I see a pyros over there so I'm going to avoid that. I knew it would only be a matter of time before one of them snipers that I'd been continually killing went to and swapped over to Pyro. Now look here, how can I not get the backstab animation? Nearly die there. Pull out my dead ringer. <coughs> Gotta pick up the health and ammo and then just head back and do exactly the same thing again. We're straight up here. And there we go. Winning the round and I top score by a long way. So after my fail first round, the second round was certainly better. Anyway, that's the end of this video, guys. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks a lot, and laters.